Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to work with sub data sheets in Microsoft Access 2016. So what is a sub data sheet? Now you, you can see on this slide that whenever we have more than one table in an access window, we can create a relationship between them in such a way that whenever I am viewing one table, you can also view another table in the same view using a sub data sheet. So this is why a sub data sheet is useful. Now let's take for an example, I have a customer table and I have a order table. Now what does sub data sheet do? A sub data sheet will help me to find the customer record for each order that they have placed. Now whenever I go to the data sheet view on the extreme left side of the corner, you can see the view button. Under that if you go under the data sheet view, you will have the table ready with me. You. Now in this table you can see a plus sign. Whenever you click on that plus sign, what it says a sub data sheet will open up below the record which shows only the related records from the order table. Now how to create this kind of uh, sub data sheet and how to create a relationship between them, we will have a better understanding of it in our practical approach. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I will move to this navigation pane and under the navigation pane, I'll move to this tables group, right? And I will simply pull out the customer database. All right, now I have the data sheet for the customers in which I have their first name, the last name, their phone numbers and the city. So guys, you guys must be aware of this uh, particular uh, example as we are using the same example for our videos as well. Okay, so now if you can see on the extreme left hand side of my screen next to the ID, I can see this plus sign. So what does this plus sign is signifying? Let's go ahead and click this plus sign. If I click on this plus sign, it is showing some ID. It is showing me whether this order is paid or not and uh, the pre-order or any notes with the customer regarding the same pickup done by customers and their pickup dates. Now also if you can see there's one more plus sign out here. If I click on this plus sign, it is showing me the menu item ID that is the item that they have placed and the quantity. So guys, uh, don't you think so that in the same data sheet, I can get the entire order detail for that particular customer. We do not have to open another uh, data sheet or the uh, different table to see what order that customers has placed right so in the same sheet I can see the entire order details what is the quantity what uh, whether he has paid it or not paid or if there are any notes regarding the same so let's go ahead and understand how this is done yeah how it works so I will go ahead and close this particular form uh, this this particular table I will go ahead and place a new order so that we can see that but this uh, data sheet updates or not so we will do that. I will minimize these tables and I will pull out a form and I will pull out a form to place an order, right? So I'll simply double click on the orders form. Now you can see from this particular form, I can place an order. So I will go ahead and select entry. Let's go ahead and see if we can add an entry for Brett, right? So Brett, we can place an order for Brett and see whether it's working or not. As of now, he has not placed any order. All right. So we'll go ahead and place an order for this. So, so that this particular order will get updated out here. Okay. So I'll search for by its last name, Newkirk. So I'll simply type here, Newkirk, right? We have his name. Okay. The order number, pick up date let's type some notes for the same we can say that it is for an anniversary that's right anniversary cake we will add some item to this we I would like to place an order so I will go under this menu uh, the menu item drop down box and I'll say I would rather go for a cheesecake okay or a French vanilla so I'll place an order for a French vanilla cake and I would like to order one Okay, a single, I'll simply save and close. So basically I have now placed the order for Newkirk and the, it is the notes which we are given is anniversary cakes. Let's go ahead and save this event so that this um, orders get placed and gets updated in the customer tables as well. Now I'll move to the customer table. Now under the customer table, if I go under the Brett uh, plus sign, if I click on this plus sign, you cannot see any update out here. So I'll simply minimize this. Now I need to refresh this so that the table gets updated. So how I refresh it, it's quite simple. Under the home tab, you can see this refresh button. I'll simply uh, click on this refresh button. Now we, uh, the order has been refreshed. Now it 
should be getting added to the bread entry so if I click on this plus sign you can see yes it has placed an order it is a paid order and it is for anniversary cake and there's a spec update alright guys so this is how you work with sub data sheet in Microsoft access 2016